One of the questions I get from our members is, what is water weight and how do I get rid of it? Now, I personally did a water only fast one day and burned over 2,500 active calories, thinking that I would just immediately lose weight. But the next day I weighed myself and to my surprise, I was actually up three pounds. The 10 liters of water I drank to make up for the hunger actually bulked me up. But within a day, my weight actually leveled off and then it eventually went down. So can you exercise and burn a bunch of calories and not eat food and still lose weight? Yes. Did I gain weight because of the water load that I had? Yes. But did it end up leveling off and did all those calories that I burnt off help me to lose weight? Yes. Hey everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit, the home of the belly burn. So the common causes of water weight. You can have body inflammation. Your body experiences muscle tears, much like bumping your knee. So what happens is when the muscles break down, they want to go into a repair process. And so your body is going to push out more water to help with that repair. Then you're going to have a little bit more water weight. Now carbs, especially salty carbs. And I think about a story where a member said that she barely ate. She had two meals that day and she didn't track the meals, but all she said was I had two big bowls of pasta and I had four pieces of garlic toast. And the next day, literally, she was up five pounds. And fiber, a lot of people think that fiber is gonna help with digestion, it's gonna help detox you, it's gonna help you poo more. It actually holds eight times more water than a regular carb. So a lot of these nude food supplements out there are adding fiber to it so that they can get rid of the carbs. But little do we know that all this fiber is actually making us retain more water and we're eating something healthy but it's not helping when we jump on the scale. So here's the solution. You need to do an act of recovery. A lot of us think that we need time off when actually you don't need time off. You just need to reverse the activities that you were doing. So what does that mean? My 2,500 active calorie day, by the end of the day, my body was so beat up. The next day, did I just lay in bed the whole time and do nothing? No, I moved around, I started stretching, I took a hot bath and then I put cold on areas that needed to decrease the inflammation and then I also put hot back on there so that we can create that body flow and that blood flow. But I'm going to tell you body movement is going to help you recover a lot faster than a complete rest day. And you should also focus on foods that decrease inflammation. We all know that heavy red meat, we know that like the processed carbs, they create a body inflammation and so what I would tell you is what would be the opposite food? Right? So if you're eating some type of heavy red meat, maybe you switch it up for a day to like a tuna or a white fish. And if you're eating these heavy processed carbs, why don't you go to something that's unprocessed and more of its natural state and a dark green vegetable. Now, when we go with these super high carb days, like our member did with the four pieces of garlic toast and the two bowls of pasta, then what we do is we balance it out by going into a low carb day the next day. We also need to balance out with some potassium. How do we get potassium? Well, you can do a potato, which is not a heavy processed carb. You can do a banana or you can do an avocado. I would also tell you to start drinking EAAs. In my opinion, we have the best EAAs at the gym, but I would say do some EAAs because there is some sodium, potassium, electrolytes that are gonna help you balance out all the salt that you've had. And then I would add bananas and greens, like dark greens, to a spinach shake that you blend up with ice and water because that's going to give you that nice boost that you're looking for. And last but not least, when it comes to fiber, you should be tracking your overall intake because you could be eating healthy, but remember fiber retains water. And if you take too much of it, it's actually going to do the opposite effect of what most of us think. So when it comes to tracking your food and your total calories, fiber should only account for 1% of your daily income. Now, if you need us to monitor your nutrition, we can do it remotely as well. All you got to do is go to www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn challenge and we'll get you started today.